extra special warning. Our hosts do no research and preparation for these movies. They are just two cynical douchebags. They think just because they have ten years of bad TV under their belts, they are qualified to review these horrible movies. Hey everybody, Bird and Gutter here, and we are here with another one of the worst movies on Netflix. And we still want you viewers to fucking send in a video of you guys saying worst movies on Netflix. Because we've only had one dude do it. I mean, good ups to you, dude, for doing it, but we need more people. We're sick of saying it. We want you to say it. Why do we want them to say it? I don't know, because we're sick of saying it. I'm not sick of saying it. Well, neither am I, but I thought it would be well, something cool. You're fucking lazy. You can't even yes, say your own goddamn exactly. fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, this is the last worst movies on Netflix yeah. and Hallotober. This has been a pretty crappy Hallotober, too, so yeah. yay. Exit to hell. Fucking Kane Hodder movie with his bowling ball shaped fucking head and his gizzard like chin <laughs> but right off the bat comes up phase four a phase four film and we're uh, discovering yeah, now phase that phase four. four is kind of the uh, asylum a little bit is. more heart than asylum but bit. movies just as fucking bad what total retribution was a phase four i think so we've done a few phase four i just can't yeah. think of them offhand by now yeah, I mean, they had some fun elements, you know what I mean? Like, judging this movie from what I saw, it wasn't... It wasn't completely awful. No, it wasn't. I mean, it was still, it was bad, and it was kind of boring, but they kind of tried to rip off the whole... They tried to rip off everything, technically. A lot of things. But their whole style was, they, they ripped off, like, say, a mix between Robert Rodriguez trying to do Grindhouse, and some Guy Ritchie here and there, and, you know, a lot of fast action and fucking, you know, filters of fucking old film <laughs> filters, and... <laughs> Scratching the shit out of that stuff. Yeah, you know, just, it is what it is. And they yeah. intro everybody, but it basically starts out with, like, a movie inside like the of intros, a... the intros, the intros. Yeah, they, they paused and fucking yeah. put their names up and... Uh, the blah. sound to me was just terrible. I that I and the actual thing. soundtrack was awful. Fucking garage band-like fucking... <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Yeah. And we know, we've worked with a few fucking garage bands in our fucking day. Yeah, and we know those same riffs come out of the same garage band, you know? <laughs> basically <laughs> fucking late. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But anyway, it basically starts off with a movie inside of a movie. This really crappy yeah. zombie movie that throughout the movie, everybody's fucking watching. Anytime there's a TV on, they're watching this crappy fucking movie about this dude who's popular. the hero of the Necro Wars or yeah. fucking something. And there's a doctor with spirit Halloween store fucking makeup <laughs> on his fucking face. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but I, then it goes, I, was, I wasn't even really paying attention, but he was just like, Sergeant Sergeant Duty. It doesn't fucking matter, because yeah, it's just a crappy movie inside yeah. of a fucking movie. But it, then it then cuts it, from it, that to the Kmart Gecko Brothers. Yeah. One dude happens to be fucking, what, Shane, Shane Dean. Shane yeah, Dean. from fucking Vampageddon and fucking <laughs> the Frankenstein whatnot <laughs> theory or whatever. Hey, uh, what, a dude that contacted us because of our Vampageddon review. Yeah, really I, cool and nice guy. I like Shane, you know. Shane's cool yeah. in my book because he didn't, you know, he could have been a complete cock. Like, you guys suck, fat yeah. fucks, because that's but what he, I would have said. Yeah, but he but played he the drug, drug addict fucking brother of the Gecko, bro the Kmart Gecko brothers. He what was, was the, the skinny tattoo? one. Yeah, he was the skinny one yeah, doing yeah, all the yeah. drugs. But anyway, they fucking ro kill and rob these drug dealers, and they get lost driving the fucking, wherever the fuck they were going, Mexico or something, and they end up in this town, Redstone. Redstone. And then they Everybody go try to crazy. rob this fucking gas station that's fucking manned by fucking John Kerry slash Mitt Romney. <laughs> That's what he fucking looked like. Looked like you smashed both of them together in a vice. This is what would have pooped out. <laughs> But as they're trying to rob this dude, fucking Sheriff Sickle, oh. Kane Hodder, comes in and kills uh -oh. him with his sickle. He did. He and then it cuts back to the fucking movie inside of a movie, but what are no. you saying? Nothing. Okay. I forgot what the hell I was going to say. But whatever, yeah. And then it cuts to, like, the strip club, right? So there's some titties in this movie. A kind of an okay amount of titties in this movie. I'm not going to fucking lie. And it has, like, this stripper on stage and, like, the DJ, and it shows this dude walking in. And What's they all, the appropriate amount of titties? They have, like, you know, this connection they're fucking showing you, you know. Know, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, they blah. don't care about that. What, what's the what's the uh, what's the official the, the amount? proper amount what's of the proper amount of titties? You tell them. at least like four sets of titties throughout your crappy movie. Don't at tell least them. tell them at least four fucking sets of titties <laughs> in your fucking crappy movie is the is an acceptable amount. The more the better. <laughs> yes, it doesn't fix your crappy movie like I said before, but at least it makes it fucking you watchable. Said the proper amount. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you to judge what the proper amount of titties should 
Peter Phil. Um, that's my job. I would I would be part of the MPAA, be the proper amount of titties bureau. <laughs> That's what I want my job to be. Oh, and so I can tell filmmakers, be like, no, you need two more sets of titties in your movie. <laughs> They're like, but sir, it's the end credits. That just doesn't Well, fit. you need to put them in there. <laughs> like that fucking U Ball movie, fucking Zombie Massacre. <laughs> they put their titties in at the end credits. There was no titties throughout that whole entire movie. And then through the end credits, there's fucking titties. Yeah, until the guy's like, sir, this is a children's movie. You know, it's well, okay. animated. I, we under we I understand there's titties. things for kids. And the the there doesn't have to be the proper amount of titties in kids' movies, but <laughs> of course everything there else. There doesn't have to be titties <coughs> in a kids' movie. Obviously, if there's a woman in a kids' movie, she can have them. That's, you know, <laughs> well, yeah, but they, they don't have to be out. They don't have to be That's out. That's like PG-13 and R-rated movies. PG-13, yeah. there needs to be at least one set of fucking titties in the movie, and R, there has to be at least four sets of titties in the movie. <laughs> wow. I love this logic. I just want to know where it's coming But anyway, we're, we're not talking about that. We're talking about we these talking fucking about? the strippers, the strip oh, club, yeah, the fucking one stripper is we went fucking a whole thing about proper amount of titties. The one fucking stripper is fucking Tiffany, whatever, Shepish Shepish or Sheep Sheep Shits, whatever. Fucking scream queen bitch. It's been in a whole bunch of fucking movies. Yes. But anyway, oh, sounds... they rob this fucking strip club, and then guess who comes to party? Is this fucking owner of the club, Russian mafia, and it has worse <laughs> fucking Russian accents than goddamn rounders. P dis me and <laughs> worse than that. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. But you know, they tried. Yeah, but whatever. The fucking group of people, you know, the DJ, the fucking regular, the fucking stripper, and the fucking bartender, they leave the strip club, get away, they get lost, end up in Redstone, blah blah blah, fucking Kane Hodder with his Mad Max fucking cop car for whatever fucking reason. Yeah, it was and all the psycho people standing outside going, eh! Yeah, but I wanted to see like what the deal was with the cannon thing on the car. Remember they never that? showed it, yeah. No, they didn't never it never went off or did anything. But he no. had like spikes in the center of the hood. Like, why? Why? To, do, to take down people's cars because they took yeah, down. Why on the hood? Or he so. took down the criminal's car. The fucking bartender chick got a fucking bar through her leg or something. So oh, okay. everybody else left her. Kane hotter, grabbed her, strung her up, fucking took her top off, chopped her up with a chainsaw, and fucking basically made her meat. Yeah. Like made a titty made roast. Meat. Made a titty roast. Because <laughs> that's what it was. Because this is what happens, right? People were running. Around, blah, now blah, everybody blah. out there's going titty roast. I gotta check this. Fucking Jane Hunter, out. his family are cannibals now. So now this yeah. movie is ripping off Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Well, see, they got the mom from fucking What's Eating Gilbert Gabe. Yeah, Gabe, great. <laughs> Gabe. A little some, fat kid, a little fat kid, and Kate Hunter. And, and then they get the fucking Tiffany, you know, the scream queen chick. Yeah, yeah. They get her tired down, and they do this kind of scene that's like Texas Chainsaw. <laughs> they bring out this big ass fucking foil covered thing. Yeah. He opens it up, and it's her fucking. Titties. It's that chick's, oh, it's half her body in her titties. Yeah. yeah. And then he cuts off a piece and forces it into this chick's yeah, mouth. Yeah, dude. In real that, life. That, yeah, that, so, I mean, yeah. he's forcing it in there, giving her the fucking fish hook, the ah, you know, like, ugh. Yeah, yeah. you're like, ew, can't have to get your fingers in there, gross. <laughs> yeah, for you real. You know what he was doing right before uh. he did that? Bull scratching his nuts. All right, action. He grabs the beat. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically <laughs> the main deal of it. There's like you know the fucking kid that played the regular. He was going through dope sickness or something because they left him out in the middle of nowhere and everybody. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the fucking chick. You know the scream queen chick. She gets away and then there's this dude getting roadhead uh, like thinner and uh, then splow thinner. he fucking hits yeah. the fucking scream queen chick. She, she dies, dies and then Kate Hodder comes over and fucking blah blah blahs to them Not and then it. Fucking cuts to the fucking the, the regular kids. He says, uh, we're sick justice kid. is always sure. And he meets like, up oh. with this dude in this truck, which ends up being Kane Hodder, his brother. Yeah, blah Uncle blah Sid. blah. Don't forget. Fucking fade to more credits. Credits go on forever, and then after the credits, there's a fucking scene where it's a big long scene from the fucking movie inside of a movie. Crap. So I mean, I guess if you want, this movie is 
watchable. You know, it's got some stuff in it that's worth kind of watching, but eh. yeah. Be like you can watch like the first not... ten minutes and see everything. Yeah. You know, yeah. you see the intros, <laughs> you see fucking Shane Dean, and then yeah. that's about all. You, and you see the fucking Scream Queen chick stripping with her titties. That's about all you need to see. Uh, you can go <laughs> this whole movie without watching the rest. So you don't yeah. need to see Kane Hodder's bowling ball head or any of that stuff. You have anything else to say about this movie? The last Hallotober movie of this year? I don't know. Glad we found another movie with that dude. Yeah, dude. we didn't even know he was in it. Yeah, we just surprise, yeah. surprise. Yeah, well, what the hell? Man's got to eat. Yeah, I won't fault him for it. No, of course <laughs> not. You can't blame any of these people's doing it. Of they need, not. they need a fucking paycheck, and we need them to make these movies so we can do this. That's right. So good on them. Yeah. So, so for Bird Gutter, him down. This has been another one of the worst movies on Netflix. <laughs> We'll see you next week with something else. You got nothing, huh? No. Nope. Something else. Some clue you gave him. Of course, we don't even know. Yeah, we need to go figure that out. Fuck that. No, we need to figure it out so I don't have to sit here on fucking next week go, <laughs> oh crap, what are we watching? And have to fucking search through it. Do we have a cigarette for you? Nope. Yep. God, why don't you just hold a bottle up over your open mouth? <laughs> That's how you really look. So if anybody wants to Photoshop me with a cock right there, you <laughs> feel free, I don't care. Dude, that'd be great. <laughs> people would fucking do that, because I'd be like, right now, I'd be like, go do that. Go fucking Photoshop a cock going into his mouth. <laughs> Whatever. Fucking do it, because I want to see that. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see, like, see it. Alright, let's go have a fucking cigarette. Damn right. This has been a pretty crappy help. Which is in this roughin' 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 Russian mafia.